see that racing is a sport that knows no limitations. Age, gender, size, it doesn't matter. And even with a prosthetic leg, veteran and IMSA racer Liam Dwyer is still competing with the pack. Dwyer began racing back in 1999, and when he was 19, he enlisted in the military. But while on patrol in Afghanistan in 2002, his life changed forever. He stepped on an improvised explosive device and woke up in the hospital to discover his left leg was amputated four inches above the knee. After physical therapy and rehab, Dwyer was eventually able to get back onto the racetrack. And as he races today, he wants to help other veterans find healing through racing, just like he did. But I think the big thing is what people don't realize is the mental strengthening, the, the mental recovery that it gives these vets. When you're in the military and you're over in Iraq or Afghanistan or wherever you're at, it's all about a team atmosphere. It's working together. It's trusting the guy to your left and to your right. And that's what you have here in the race team. And that's what I tried telling these guys when I got involved with racing. Come join a race team. Come get involved with racing. Because it's the same left seat, right seat. We're going to teach you. We're going to guide you but we're going to kind of tease you along the way. We're going to rib you, and it's that brotherly love that comes here. Racing has been a healing mechanism for Dwyer. Just three years after his injury, the IMSA driver made it to the winner's circle on the exact anniversary of his injury, something that wounded warriors call their Alive Day. And Dwyer was standing on his prosthetic leg all smiles. The attitude he carries is one that many other drivers say they couldn't imagine to have. Dwyer making jokes about his prosthetic leg and the way in which he walks. But for the racer, when he gets in the car, the playing field is equal. That's what I love about racing, is to me, driving a car racing, it's the ultimate equalizer. That once you're in that car, there is nothing to stop you from doing what you love, and that is driving a car, racing a car. This is what racing has done for me. When I get in that car, when I put the helmet on, I get strapped in there. Competitors to the left of me, the competitors to the right of me, they're not looking at me as an EMPT. Oh, we got to go slow with them. They're looking at me as another race car driver. I got to beat him.